All right, Gary, and how about a game total that you're interested in? So I'm going to take the under in game two of today's doubleheader between the Yankees and the Red Sox. Uh, the Yankees have just really been playing to the under lately. Uh, if you go through the recent trends, under is 5-0 and in the Yankees' last five home games. It's 11-3 and the last 14 times the Yankees have played a team above 500, and it's 17-7 and in their last 24 games overall. Even with all the deadline acquisitions New York brought in, they have still not been scoring runs, and their starting pitching has been incredible. Luis Gill has looked amazing both times we have seen him so far this season. And also, Nadia Evaldi has absolutely shut down the Yankees so far this season. He's got a 1.71 ERA in his four starts against New York so far this season. He's easily been Boston's best and most consistent starter in 2021. So I think by the time game two rolls around, maybe we, don't, maybe we see a couple guys who were in the starting lineup in game one, not in there for game two. I think this game goes under seven minutes. Nick, back to the Reds here. Yes, and this is this one is my absolute number one favorite pick of the night. Reds going over five and a half runs. Um, I thought I saw it fluctuate to four and a half at one point over on DK Sportsbook, but it's still at five and a half right now. And I prefer it there because the payout's going to be better. And I'm just as comfortable with you know, backing the Reds to score at least six runs tonight. Uh, they've done so in uh, was it nine of their last thirteen games. So if you're if you've been backing the Reds offense, which I have done quite a bit recently, they've been you know you've been rewarded handsomely. Um, when I talked before about how they've done against right-handed pitching, they lead all of baseball and. OPS and, and Woba against right-handed pitching on the season. They're seventh in ISO against right-handed pitching on the season. And then over the last couple of weeks, they're the number one team in ISO and OPS against, right, against right-handed pitching. So, and, and you have good matchups against Hendricks tonight. I talked about Votto when we were breaking down DFS. There are other guys who do well against Hendricks. No one quite as well as Votto, but either way you have, when you have a mix of guys like that who can go and get after a, you know, a guy who's usually a good pitcher, but has definitely had some issues. Uh, I'm going to feel very comfortable when it comes to backing them to uh, score at least six runs.